The Future Student TV. Inspiring people with a vision about the future. My name is Walter Zontingen. Uh, I'm 30 years old. I live in Amsterdam. Born in Suriname. Suriname is one of uh, the former Dutch colonies. My mother is Dutch. I moved to the Netherlands when I was six years old. Uh, I currently work in ABN AMRO uh, as a database marketeer. I'm also a board member for the diversity network within ABN AMRO. Uh, outside of ABN AMRO, I have a company and a foundation with two friends. Uh, the foundation has a focus on creating educational programs for children with a focus on social entrepreneurship and sustainability. And my company is more to trade in biofuels as in, let's say, um, biogas. It could be used cooking oil, could be um, corn oil, could be several things, um, uh, especially international. I'm not sure if I have one passion, but I have a quote. And the quote is as following um, from Frans van Oom. He's a sociologist, uh, let's say 60 years ago. Um, it's about um, the road in which I travel, I'm endlessly creating myself. Uh, it's basically the only one rule in life is that every day you are creating yourself and you have to do different things in life in order to get ahead of everybody and yourself when it comes to traveling, when it comes to creating a company, when you have an idea is to, you know, make that idea work. Uh, when you want to build a house, try to build a house. When you do things, you learn things. And the only way to get up is to fall down. So um, when I talk to everybody, when I talk to friends, I always tell them, if you have an idea, just do it. If I focus on one of um, the passions that I explore with my friends, let's say social entrepreneurship, uh, the foundation, um, we have started to create a chocolate sustainability entrepreneurship boot camp for children. Basically means you put 20 children into a room for six days in which they have the opportunity to create a company, let's say four companies and you give them every aspect in order to understand what entrepreneurship means. It means risk, it means chances to create chances, chances means how to be creative, and um, you let them experience what it is to put your knowledge into action. This is one of the things that school doesn't teach you. You have you know, a vocabulary of 30,000 words, and then they send you off to, you know, to a company and suddenly you need to work. What do you do? So we have a vision. When you start young, you can teach them how to create possibilities. And it's important to create the possibilities. But, you know, young children don't have the vision, but they sure have the creativity to go somewhere. They're very mobile. They don't see things, you know, in life as obstacles, they just do things. Uh, I think social entrepreneurship will help myself in order to to get ahead in life in a more um, fruitful way, let's say. It will give me more pleasure in life in order to help people. And in the end, um, technology allows people, you know, to connect easier. And this world, you know, in which let's say the economic basis that helps you to get in life is more as a pyramid and you know only the top gets everything and um, well the crisis has le you know have learned us uh, that you know the top isn't always there for everybody um, what basically means that you know you need to create a different way of you know being an entrepreneur being an entrepreneur doesn't mean you have to fill your pockets but it does mean if you help people, they help you. I think social entrepreneurship um, will be a bigger part of the economy in the next coming years. 
but it will never take uh, the position of the economic foundation of this country. It will be um, something that everybody will do, but probably part-time. Let's say one day in the week you do something with people in your community to have, let's say, green parks, to do something with sustainable energy, with uh, your neighbor, but it will never be the basic foundation to create money in order to get ahead in life, but it will be a part of your life. And in the end, social entrepreneurship and the way I see it should be, of course, incorporated in the economy, but, you know, let's say working for the Rode Kruis for no money should be incorporated in the economy that everybody works part-time at the Rode Kruis in order to sustain this company or a foundation so they could help people that don't have the access to money, food, health and education. Why would social entrepreneurship never be the norm? Um, well, uh, let's say I I have lots of bills. I work 50 hours a week. I need to be, you know, at home at 7 o'clock. I have to do lots of things. And at the same time, being a social entrepreneur means, you know, the balance between activities and achievements are different. It's, it's not like you do, you work 10 hours and you get money for 30 hours. It doesn't work like that. Our economic system doesn't provide a good economic basis for people to become a social entrepreneur. That's why I believe that, um, in my opinion, uh, social entrepreneurship will work as long as everybody else within this economic system in the Netherlands or in this world would work on three days a week or four days a week, where in the last day of the week you are part of a social entrepreneur or you are a social entrepreneur or a social company in which you work, but you get money from your own company that you work for for four days a week. I think it's going to happen is that you will have different communities uh, of people that uh, have their own set of you know let's say money different um, and let's say uh, euros or dollars there's already uh, a facility like a, a company that in which you can create your own coin let's say and, and let's say you call it the Walter coin and everybody else and within that community could trade within this system. There are several um, initiatives in Amsterdam and also outside of Amsterdam, like the social trade organization, that are looking for different uh, ideas and to create communities, communities that um, have their own economic system. They may not have their own currency yet, but I think it's just a matter of time in, in, in which people have to think uh, differently, like, you know, the, des the design of the currency. Is it a coin? Is it a, is it a number? But it will be something different. And um, you don't need to think in traditional ways as having money in your hand because, you know, this is something that was, you know, 10 years ago. Right now everybody has a plastic card, so we already have something else. But it's just a way of thinking and this is something that is the biggest challenge and I think especially young people are um, ready up for this challenge to do this. What can I share with you for the future? I think uh, the main thing would be mobility. When you are mobile it allows you to do different things. Being in Amsterdam or being in Taiwan or being in France allows you to learn different things, different language, different jobs, and all these things will allow you to have a better position in life when you want to get ahead of yourself and everybody else. The Future Student TV Inspiring people with a vision about the future